Hey crafters. <clears throat> I swear I clear my throat every time I start to do a video. Anyway, today this is a page I made um, the other day with using the pier from Crate Paper. It has got to be one of my favorite, favorite, favorite themes this season. <coughs> it, um, it's amazing. I, I love the colors. The embellishments are awesome. So what I wanted to do is show you um, some of the papers, uh, the embellishments that I love. And this is an um, ephemera pack that is the best I've ever seen. Love it. It's got some pieces that are stitched together. For example, look at this piece right here. This is one piece in the ephemera pack all stitched together with these layers and it gives great dimension, looks fabulous um, on the page. Really, really like this a lot. So let's take a look at some of the things in the set. First I'll start by, I love the new concept, well at least it's new for me this year, of washi tape, but it's sheets of washi tape. So looking at this you get tons of different you you just cut it it's sticky sticky back so you have all these borders or washi tape effect and you don't have to buy a bazillion rolls full of washi tape that you're not going to use the whole roll so i love this concept so the pier has a washi it's called washi paper <clears throat> and um love that i think their embellishments this year are my all-time favorite but i'm going to save those for last here is one of the pages, and it is called Heat Wave. It's got wood on one side, wood texture, and then to me, this looks like the top of umbrellas, uh, like beach umbrellas, so that's a really uh, pretty paper. I like that a lot. I love the papers that on one side you can use for journaling cards, like this one, have a lot of choices. This works great on scrapbook pages but also on that super popular right now is the journal scrapping where people are on their daily journal and they're kind of scrapping in that. This would work great on that. On the back side is kind of a distressed um, ledger look and the name of this sheet is called Summertime. This one has um, a lot of cutouts as well. Um, it's got words, the little tags, and I think that I used on one of my sheets where I cut them out so I can cut each one of these tags individually now and use those. These are great size for on cards as well as scrapbook pages. So a lot of elements on this page that you can cut out. And then the back side is just called Splash. This one, love it. Love the diagonal colors, love the stripes. It's a great paper. It's one side. And the back side is called sunscreen, and this is actually the page uh, that I use for the background of the scrapbook page that I showed you when the video started. So this one's called sunscreen. Really cool paper. Here's one with, it's kind of got a woody texture look to it, but it's a bunch of, of numbers and stuff. You could cut these numbers out um, if you didn't want to use the page as a whole like it is. But I love the back side. It's called Poolside. And a lot of fun stuff that you could do with this paper. This one, not hugely fond of this side personally. I mean, it's okay. I know some of you will really like it. I'm just so-so on this side. But I love this side. This side's called Popcorn. It's got a little bit of a distressed look to it. Uh, polka dot. Love, love, love this side. This side, it's okay but they're great quality papers. I love all of the, the papers in this line. Oh, oh, chevrons, can you get enough of them? No, the answer is no. Love this, love the colors, love the size of these chevrons because they're nice and fat. So many of them you see are the more narrow. And then the back side is a nice page. It's called Carousel. This would make a great background page for um, either a scrapbook layout or it would be a great a great one on a card as well. So again, this one, love that. Here's this one. It's just okay for me. I mean, it's it's cute, but I don't love it. It's just cute. This one, mm, don't love it either. 
So this one to me, this one is called cotton candy. Now you could use these doilies, you could cut them out, they're, they're like half and they're kind of like clouds, so you could do something pretty creative with that. But not my favorite, just a so-so page in the set. You guys know I'll always tell you the honest truth. This one is their craft paper. They have three craft papers. One of them is on back order, so I only have the two. This one is called Shoreline. It probably isn't showing up um, the distressed um, look that's on it on one side, which I could do a lot with that side. really like it. And this side is, it's okay. I love craft paper. I love the thickness of it and the color that, that um, tan beigey color goes with so much stuff. So this is a nice nice color texture which would make a great background page for a scrapbook page as well and then you could add um, all your dimensions and textures. This one is just fun. This one has a bunch of, it's a thicker craft paper as well, has a bunch of popsicles on it. Totally fun. You could cut those and make popsicle borders if you want. If you were totally into cutting you could cut out a bunch of these popsicles and that would be really fun to pop them up on um, with some dimensionals. And then the back side is <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, distressed kind of ledger. It's got some green gradient shades on it. Again, it's another good craft page. Taking a drink of my water. So those are the pages that I've got to show you. Now let's get to the super fun, which is all the embellishments. These are their accent stickers. A lot of fun, great colors. It's got some journaling stickers on it as well as some borders. You could do a lot of really fun stuff with their accents. This is their 12 by 12 um, cardstock stickers. So they're nice, thick cardstock. I love the uh, Ferris wheel. I use the summertime days in the uh, scrapbook page that I showed you opening the video. A lot of really great elements in here and I've used some of these elements with obviously other paper companies as well. It's not limited to the pier. It just goes with so much. I love this bike. Bikes are really in this season. Um, super cute. Love it. Love these embellishments. Um, the ephemera pack. I should just open this one because I've already opened mine and used some of them. I don't know if you can see this front piece that is my all-time favorite that it, well, I used on the scrapbook page that I pointed out to earlier. But I do have the one that I had opened already and I have used some of the elements out of it but I still wanted to show you. It, can, it comes with some sequins, really popular right now. See, here's a, another example of the stitching they've stitched these together and so cute i could just use tons of this all over the place i mean there's there's um little doily things if you had a sewing machine you could even do some additional stitching with that um here's some punch out uh frames there's tickets in here this took me back r is for red it's only one-sided. Had to check. Um, took me back to grammar school there. It's got tags in it and tickets and just all kinds of little didos. There's 48 pieces in here. Um, obviously uh, not counting the sequins. You don't count those as pieces. I've used several of these. Um, this one says the sweetest. Whoops. I love the gold foiling. Um, this one says splash. I'm hoping this is showing up in the camera as I'm making this mess with all of this. Love that ephemera pack. Love it. It's got to be one of the best. Then here is their, they call them their standouts. It's their layered stickers. And in one of my earlier videos, I told you how uh, popular the clothespins are right now. So easy. You could make some stuff like that yourself. I am trying to find this size of clothespins. I do have some small clothespins on the site, but they're not quite that size. They're a little bit smaller than that. But the standouts, I have my package over here. So I don't know. I've used some of them, so I didn't want it to be the whole thing that I showed you because it's missing some pieces. But just the quality of these is great. I mean, 
the dimensions in this popsicle it's got like a little cutout in the center they all have the um, pop-up on them already for the adhesives look at this beach ball so cool love this beach ball I'm gonna do something really fun with that and these totally loving these and that kind of spurred some of the items like I said that I'm just making myself with some of my stuff that I have around and then lastly are their pinwheels and flags super fun super super fun are their pinwheels and flags again mine I've used some of them out of it but I wanted to show you some up close I just think they're awesome looks really cute to put several of them on a page the flags fit really well on a card these are kind of big in my opinion for a card um, if you at least that standard size card that we tend to make uh, scrappers that we make using a half of an eight and a half by eleven now if you did a bigger card you know a five by seven or something like that these would fit on that really great and this one the gold um, glitter gold is so in this season you're going to see it in a lot of papers and a lot of of patterns and the thickles probably won't I said thickles that's a cross between thickers and stickles I've just created that word thickles um, so this is thickers and these are great these are from the peer collection as well and I don't know if it's showing up on the screen but the letters have gold foil polka dots on them so it goes really great with this whole set so again this is the pier I'm going to make some cards later so you'll see some cards made out of that but here's my finished sheet again using uh, some of the elements here I think I made that one myself but some of the elements from their packaging from their ephemera package and their um, cardstock their chipboard I mean chipboard cutouts so cool love this uh, visit stampinmania.com and get a close-up of all of our items from the pier you will love it all right talk to you later